Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you my updated Urban Survival EDC pouch. So this little pouch has been a mainstay of my everyday carry for the past five or six years now. It originally started off as an Altoids survival kit. Obviously, everything was in an Altoids tin. It's still a very popular thing to carry nowadays, but after a year or two, I found out that Zero Feud made these awesome compact zipper pouches that were also USA made, and they were a lot more compact and flexible in terms of being a carry option so I transferred everything from the Altoid survival kit into this awesome pouch and have used this exact pouch for the past few years now. As I said it is made in USA it is very sturdy as you can see my pouch has definitely seen some wear but no significant damage it's held up over the past few years and I don't really see myself switching to any other pouch. Another thing that I really like about it is that it's kind of customizable with this small panel of loop, you're able to throw on some awesome ranger eyes. I have some of my favorites on it right now. Of course, the main portion of the pouch is this zipper in the middle, and one of the newest additions to the Urban Survival Pouch is this Exotac Tinder zipper pool. In addition to extending the zipper size and being more accessible to open, the actual cord inside, if you were to cut it open, has some flammable tinder, and it makes for a nice fire source if needed. Moving inside the pouch itself, first up, the most accessible item and the most used item in the pouch is a thing of chapstick. My lips just get chapped all the time, whether it's at work or at home or at a party or hangout, my lips just get chapped. So it's always nice to have a thing of chapstick on hand that's easily accessible. And next up is another mainstay of the Urban Survival Pouch, and that's this small mini Bic lighter. I'm not a smoker, so that's why a lighter isn't a mainstay of my regular EDC. I forgot to mention that this kit is essentially supposed to supplement my main everyday carry, so you're not going to be finding any uh, full-size knives, pens, or multi-tools, or even a flashlight. And uh, obviously some people do have a lighter as part of their main EDC, but that's not for me because, as I said, I'm not a smoker. However, having a fire source is always handy, so I really like that there's this nice really compact option in the mini Bic lighter. And next up is a new change to the kit and that is the Leatherman Style PS. If you've watched my previous videos you guys know I used to have a Micra inside as the multi-tool of choice. I thought it would be interesting to have it, the Micra as a secondary multi-tool since my regular EDC is a full-size Leatherman. However I found that it would have been a lot more useful to have a secondary set of pliers to assist my main Leatherman. For example, if two things are attached to each other like a nut and a bolt and they are very tight, I can hold on to one end with this set of pliers and then use my main Leatherman to unscrew the nut and they're able to work in tandem. While obviously the Micra is by no means a useless multi-tool, it's a great multi-tool of course, especially for its size. It is scissor based instead of plier based. And of course my regular Leatherman already has a set of scissors so I opted to swap it for the Style P. And another benefit of the Style PS is that it is TSA legal. It does not have any blades other than the very small scissor blades. And next up is another rock solid mainstay of the kit. And those are the Victorinox Compact Nail Clippers. It's exactly what you think it is. It's a set of nail clippers that folds flat and when you open it, becomes a fully functional set of nail clippers. And next up is a new addition to the kit and that's this SD card. This SD card card has a backup of all of my certifications as well as some important info saved on it and I keep this on me as a secondary way to have important information in the event that there's no cell service, there's no Wi-Fi, no internet, and or my phone doesn't work. So this is a great way for a backup. I can simply plug this into any computer and access the information without having to need an internet connection. And next up is another mainstay of the kit and that is the Uncle Bill's Sliver Grippers. These are just essentially very high quality tweezers. I know there's already a set of tweezers in the Leatherman style but these are a lot better and they are just really strong. They're USA made. They're great for obviously pulling out splinters or doing precise detailed work. And next up is a bag of just useful tools and items. This orange thing is a plastic scraper which is great for scraping off like 
stickers you don't want, or even packaging labels. And then of course I have various paper clips, rubber bands in different sizes, Q-tips, as well as a twist tie. These are nice everyday office and utility items that come in handy more often than you think. And next up is a set of single-use super glue. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's super glue. It's great for repairing things in the field. And what I really like about this size is that it is very compact and also comes with a nice compact single-use lid. Speaking of repair jobs, here's another mainstay of the kit, and that is simply a wad of duct tape. Can never go wrong with duct tape, of course. Keeping on the trend of small repair items, we have a small little sewing kit. It's great for repairing clothing or anything that's textile. And next up are two more small little utility items. We have a small little eraser as well as a binder clip. And next up is a high powered magnet. As you can see, this is actually a quick release keychain system but I have it in the kit for its strength and utility. I mean, these magnets are no joke. Here's my Leatherman right here. Look how strong it is. It can carry the Leatherman without failure. What's nice about these is that you can attach it to some of the string in the sewing kit. And then let's say if you lose something like your keys in a drain or sewage pipe, you can fish it out using the magnet. And next up is a really compact item and another frequently used item. It's simply a microfiber cloth. This is great for cleaning the face of my watch and of course my phone screen. And next up is a quarter. I just keep a quarter inside the kit because it's been a mainstay of pretty much all Altoid survival kits. I don't really have an exact reason why, like it can be utilized as a decision making device. It could also be utilized as an improvised screwdriver, but of course I already have my Leatherman and even the Leatherman inside. But I also recently found out that there is a small use for having a quarter handy and that's if you ever find yourself at an Aldi's so you'll be able to utilize their shopping carts. Another nice flat and compact item in the kit is a SIM card removal tool. And last but definitely not least is the biggest item in the kit by far and that is this charge card power bank as well as an iOS adapter. This is exactly what you think it is. It's a power bank but in the shape of a credit card and it's also very thin. So thin that you're able to fit it inside the Urban Survival Kit. By far the most important important item in pretty much everyone's EDC is their cell phone, so of course it's always great to be able to charge it if it ever gets low, and that's where this power bank comes in. It doesn't have the biggest capacity in the world, nor does it have the fastest charging speed, but it more than makes up for it with its compact size, so I don't have to carry around a bigger power bank, nor would I have to carry around my charger as long as I have it inside my Urban Survival Kit. What's really cool about it is that the wires and charging mechanisms are nice and flush within the shape of the card. Right here is the output end of the wire that's attached to the charge card. I have it as a USB-C since that's what my phone uses. And over here is the input port to the charge card. So if the charge card ever runs out of juice, you can charge it via micro USB right here. Of course, I don't only carry this kit for myself. All of these items have helped various co-workers and friends out whenever I've been out. And that's why in addition to the USB I have this USB-C to iOS adapter, so I'm able to assist people who have iOS devices. And that is the latest update to my Urban Survival EDC pouch. As you can see, I have streamlined it from previous iterations. I have gotten rid of things that I never really used, as well as added some new useful things that I didn't think would have been useful in the past, but have really helped me out. With the change from the Micra to the Style PS, it also makes the this entire kit, well I guess if you lose the lighter at least, TSA friendly and I'm still able to carry this little backup multi-tool with the kit which is really nice. And of course all of this easily fits inside the kit as I'm going to show right now.
And that is the entire kit and its entirety inside the pouch. Hope you guys like this little update video. That's going to do it for the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and thanks for watching.